and gentlemen, my name is Master Rolf, and today we're going to be playing Star Trek Armada 3, a modification to Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, which changes the entirety of the game to this Star Trek setting we can play as all your favorite factions and use your favorite ships and blow each other up. Unfortunately, you can't play in ground combat, but who the fuck cares when you have a badass ships and, you know, you can play as the Klingons and the Borgs and stuff, which we are going to be playing as the Borgs, since they are really kick-ass in my opinion, and... Come on, I get to command a flying fucking sugar cube for fuck's sake. In space. Shit, that is awesome. Who wouldn't want to command a giant sugar cube? So, it's time to play as the sugar cube faction. A cyber um, cybernetic race melding both organic and machine. In the pursuit of perfection, the Borg have assimilated thousands of races into their hive mind. With each race comes new technology and more knowledge. The Borg may be the greatest threat to the galaxy and are not to be underestimated. Fortunately for the races of the Alpha and Beta Quadrant, contact with them has been limited. That luck cannot last forever and will run out. Alright, so we got the Borg Pyramid, the Borg Spear, the Borg Simulator, Borg Adapter, Borg... D fuck it. Borg Obelisk. I love how it's the same template for all of the different ships. I guess, uh, since the game is still an Alpha, you can't really, um, have everything expected to be finished. Alright, so we have... Uh, a couple of ships that are available to us from the start, and we have a couple of abilities that are specific to the Borg, which is pretty cool. We can also play as the Romulans, we can play as the Klingons, the Federation, but I want to play as the Borg. B Borg are cool. And the other guys, they can be random. Now, we can only play as four factions in this version of the mod, so uh, maps are only three player, to be honest. There's only maps of three, but they're pretty big maps. They're not super massive, but they're, they're pretty big. Uh, let's see, we can have pirates activated, and we can have a... Uh, let's go with normal start. Blah, blah, everything is good. Page victory, yep, yeah, why not? Allied victory, we won't have allies in this. Um, diplomatic victory, nope. Faction victory, nope. Capital victory, no. No, 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 okay, we're good. And... Uh, you know, we'll have the AI as normal random. Ooh, let's have him as hard. Because unfair is way too challenging, but hard is just about right. Alright. Let's conquer space with our sugar cubes. Sugar cubes of death! <laughs> God, imagine just a ground combat game with the Star Trek units. Oh, that would be awesome. Whatever. God, I love that voice. Alright, so let's see. Here's our planet Romulus, and we have a couple of asteroids here, so. Just like in traditional Sins of the Solar Empire fashion, I'm just going to build to a couple of Relocate titanium extractors and some gem extractors. Now, where are the gem extractors? Simulating new technology, advancing exciting technology, build corvettes. Oh, here's an extractor. There we go. Okay, so... Here's Diffium, and this is Tritium. Alright, good enough. Now then, let's see. Can we get some... Let's build some... Let's see. A little bit confused on what to pick first. I guess we can get some Interceptors going. Send them over there. We have three planets that we can expand to. This one, this one, and this one. And with three ships being built right now, what we need now is to build our capital ship, and we should be good. With full capacity on emergency facilities, civilian infrastructure, and stuff like that. Social specialization. Dedicate this planet towards greater population and cultural influence at the cost of trade and industry. Hmm. Or industry specialization. Huh. Industry. Uh, inter interesting. Cool. What was that? Uh, let's try to get a capital ships, however. Ah, oh, this we is a lot of capital the ships. Sorry. Right. The collective must grow. Oh my god, these ships. Holy shit. It's like Stay a giant floating ready. turd. It's amazing. Oh. We serve this is the awesome. Alright, so as soon as our economy is set, I think capital ship is definitely top priority. We already have two titanium structures, so it's just the Diffium. Complete. Yep, now the Diffium is completed. 3,000 credits, shit. It's gonna take a while. 
We're still waiting for our ships to be built, so... We have some time. In fact, we can just we go ahead and send collected. forward our ship, actually. No, 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 wait, never mind, never mind. There might, there might be rebels over there, so I'm not going to make that mistake. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one to pick, actually, out of Stay these two. New if I pick cultural, it will increase my population, but at the same time, limit my production. Well, we might as well go industry. Why not? We can afford that. We have already a large amount of population, so why not? I guess cultural will make sense in the fringes of your empire because then you would want your culture to expand outward. And also, you kind of want cultural because you want the new colonies that you established to build up into uh, better yeah, bases Lord. and better planets later on. Colonies don't really start off with a huge amount of population. So yeah, that's something. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. I we can continue building some ships while this happens. Actually, let's get a detector. Let's get one detector. The collected must grow. So yeah, these guys will just protect us from any scouting shenanigans that any of the other players do. And the interceptor that's about to be built, he can just go right over here at the start. Wait, this unit can't phase jump? You can't phase jump. State new directive. Wait, but you can phase jump, right? We are the Borg. No, wait, you can phase jump. Oh, I'm guessing the rally point just kind of got mixed up. Whatever. Let's see what the interceptor looks like. Holy shit, it's like a giant floating dildo. It's incredible how the Borg are so amazing at their aesthetics for their ships giant cubes dildos pyramids ah huh. no ships here actually no wait there's two ships all right so i'm gonna move forward my troops or my ships rather you guys can come over here initiating new directive the collective must grow and my little ship can is this way received I hope this faction is like the Fasari in which I can build like a capital ship that can build uh, colonies on the planet because that would be awesome. Let's see what type of technology I have. Security. I can build a unit complex and transwarp gates. Understanding. I have no understanding. Sci tech. Hmm. I have some stuff. Requires one adaption node. Oh, right. I forgot to build any technology structures. I'm waiting for my capital. Well. I'll get one technology structure after my capital is completed. No! No, how dare you! Don't blow up my ship! Move! Move, move I say. Number two in ranking, in military, and in economy. So, everybody else isn't doing so well either, so that's okay. It's really good. Pirates. Let's see, the pirates are currently attacking Tal Shiar. Well... Oh. Tal is a little bit screwed now, isn't he? Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I guess we can wait for our capital ship just a little bit more. Alright, we're gonna need to get something, though. Let's get the adaption nodes. And I guess afterwards we can get an assimilation or um, node. So that's pretty good for technology. And afterwards we'll, I don't know, get a couple of ships. Alright, and now let's secure this area. Run. There's a lot of crystal on this planet, so that's Initiate really, really good. New directive. You guys can attack that in one ship. Stay what are you doing over here? Directive. Holy shit, holy shit. Okay, move back, Initiate move back, new move back, directive. move back. Kaishan. A lot of asteroids. A lot of uh, metal asteroids. A lot of crystal. So, we're getting some uh, two good ships. Two really, really good ships. Oh, what's this? They have the little Vasari art over here. Look at that. Oh, come on. Some ass to choose some bubblegum Borg. How are you doing, my little ship? Oh. Move you actually right over here. Fight! Fight, I say! Go! Die for me! Die for the Empire! Wow! 
That's really, really close, but that's also really, really cool. Okay, folks, fire. Station construction complete. Alright, what an adaption or um, node finally completed. Is the assimilation node completed? Yeah, they're both completed, actually. Awesome. I can't believe they look alike, but whatever. Uh, requires one adaption node. Yeah, we might as well get one of these really early on. Or we can get, actually, let's get one of these. Research node. It's actually going to be very useful. Actually, no, wait. Is it useful? Refinery and trade point. Um, trade point. A point, a port, port. What was that? Trade point. I retarded. Alright, are you done kicking ass already? Come on, he must be dead already. Oh, these ships are very, very weak. Either that or you're just. I don't know. I guess the uh, enemy ships might be really, really tanky. That's also another thing that I didn't consider. Energy. Could do that. Borg Simulation Cube. Ooh. Okay, now what ship allows me to colonize? Let's, let's look back at the Borg ships. Doesn't allow me to colonize. Doesn't allow me to colonize. Additional technology acquired. It's allowed me to colonize. Ah, this one. Planet Assimilator. Or Planetary Assimilator. We'll get one and we'll move him right over here. We serve the collective. We serve the collective. Stay on, guys, we just need to focus on one of these. Shields have been broken through! Oh yeah! Turn him into Swiss cheese! Let's continue developing our economy. Oh, we've reached the number of um, logistics we can have. That sucks balls. In fact, this is really bad because now we can't get a capital ship. I guess we'll build, just build one on the next planet. All right, let's see. I really want more interceptors, or at least something a little bit more powerful. In fact, let's get some more powerful ships. Ah, crystals, right. Need more crystals. Expand, expand, I say. State objective. Proceed to sector. Crew extractor. Okay, don't, uh, don't auto cycle that. State no, objective. don't die. Don't die, we my son. Alright, where's my little ship that was supposed to scout? Up oh, there we go. Directed. There he is. He's still doing his job. That's nice. I don't have to kill him now. Uh, should I get another one? Let's see. Which energy does... Oh, complete. nice, okay, but how much does a uh, colonize button cost? 90 antimatter, and you have 140. Okay, so you can go back to that planet. Okay, now move instructions received. We serve the Come on, interceptors, all you have to do is protect this new planet. That's all you have to do. You know what? We'll get our resource. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, resource re distribution node. Damn. My tongue is full of fucking twists tonight. It's as if a giant snake just stranglehold my tongue. Alright, so Siege, forget. You have fallen. Hello? Yes. Yes. Please. Please. No! Please! Don't kill my 410 people living on the planet. Yes. New Proceed to oh, these four ships are heroes. Ah, oh, such pain. Much destruction. Wow. 
Negotiation is irrelevant. Unassimilated species is identified. Oh, repairs friendly ships. You know what? I'll probably get one of these. Because we are a little bit weak. And afterwards we can get... who I'd like to get industry, but... You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna. I'm going to get instead uh, some ships. Where's my ships? There we go. Oh, we can't get any ships. Oh, bad news bears. The collective must grow. Try to get some technology, actually. Ah, oh, still no crystals. That's our main problem. Just crystals, crystals, crystals. We need to get another adaption, though. That's another problem. This, like, frigate's about to be destroyed, which is good. I uh, explored the planet. You know what, honestly, I'd rather get more pop here. We serve the collective. Instructions received. By your command. How many troops are? I mean, how many ships are the in these areas anyway? I need to find like areas that aren't heavily Proceed populated and just colonize those. I guess Eastward wasn't that bad. Activate all alcoves. Yeah, let's go Proceed here. Proceed to sector. In fact, there's two metal, two crystal, two metal, two crystal. And only three ships were here. Station you know what? Yeah, I'll go completed. I'll go that way. Seems like a good place. Lanko will be a really profitable city for I mean uh planet for us. I mean technically these planets act like cities, so I'm not completely wrong. Alright, as soon as we can, we're going to get the logistics capacity upgrade for this planet, and then we're going to try and get the adaption node. Because we, we need to get our technology up. We need to get at least mining attachments, because that's actually really, really good for us. And then afterwards, we can get specialized drones. I'm not sure how much this will affect our... Um, our income, but it, it really um, will have to depend on how we expand rapidly throughout the galaxy or uh, throughout the solar system, rather. And then afterwards, how many uh, extractors are in each individual planet that we do colonize. Look! It's a green star! It's so beautiful! Oh. There are four solar systems right now. There's our solar system over here, and then there might be Romulus, maybe, uh, I don't know, Klingon there. We'll never know. The collective must grow. Until we uh, expand. Initiating Let's go this directive. way, and you know everybody's going to follow suit, which is good. You know, actually... Actually, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to try... And instead of getting the adaption node, I'm going to try and get this advanced assembly matrix. Because I, I love me some capital ships. I really do. So I'm going to wait Stay for a little bit until we get enough metal as well as crystal to get some Proceed galaxy ships going. God, but our income is so horrible right now. Holy shit. I'd love to buy some uh, metal, but it would cost a little bit too much. We are getting a lot of money though. That is something. Got a crap ton of money. That that's not supposed to be possible. Whatever. We are oh ships, go protect your your fellow uh, Borg Borgonites. Is that how you pronounce multiple Borgs? Is that how Borgs talk to each other? Borgonites, hey Borgi, Borgonator, Borga Spear. Borgspear was actually clever. State objective. I'm, it's so funny how there's no understanding for uh, technology tree for this civilization. Just like no peace, only war. 
It's amazing. That's how I played all my Vasari games. Alright, good. And now we could try and set up a little colony. Like the like the what the Americans did grow. to um Negotiation is irrelevant. You know what? Fuck history. Right move, move, move. move. Okay, focus on the siege grow. forget and once we focus on the siege forget then we won't have to fear our planet being attacked. If the planet siege gets sieged way too much, then the planet's um colonization will actually just cancel. Which is really bad. I don't want that Save to happen. As these uh, colonizations, they're not cheap. They're actually fueled by my antimatter as well as this cooldown. So that's really, really bad. We serve the collective. Exterminate. I could build a tactical like defense node and try to defend this planet with the aid of my frigates and the defense node. But at the same time, it, I seem it seems like it's a little... A really bad investment because right now I'm not really fearing any attack from the Klingons or any other factions, so I don't we really want to waste any defenses for just simple rebels. Directive. I mean, rebels are dangerous, but they're not received. terribly dangerous. Like, they're not like the Mongols. Ah, oh, 750 metal shit. Why do you have to get metal so slowly? I'm gonna say the starting ships for the Borg suck anus. Either that or I picked the wrong ship. Oh no, the planet health is dwindling! To stop this siege frigate up. Oh. Yeah, we won't be able to stop him. That sucks. Okay, the colony's about to die. So let's try to get this guy coming back. Because I don't think we have the damage necessary to destroy the siege frigate. Oh well, at least all the structures that we're building over there will still stick, so that's good. Now let's see what we can do. You know what? Let's let's buy a couple of metal. Why not? Oh, so close, so so 